All right guys, I just want to put together a quick little video for you on a question that I know I've covered before in other videos, but let's, let's get straight to the point on this one. And that is a question I get asked all the time, and that is when exactly can I change out the jewelry on my roof piercing? There's a couple different variables for that question. On average, I always like to tell people it's two to three months to heal a roof piercing, and you should never really even think about changing a roof piercing any sooner than two months, all right? Now, there is one exception to that rule, and that would be, in my opinion, if you get pierced with like a really long uh, curved barbell for roof piercing, and um, you know, so you have room for the swelling and, and irritation in the beginning, you're probably okay to go in in one month and get a little shorter bar for it, as long as it's doing great, okay? Other than that, I would not consider changing your jewelry any sooner than two months, all right? Now, at that two month mark, um, if it's feeling amazing, you've gone a good solid two weeks or so without seeing any crust or discharge or inflammation, then you're probably pretty safe to change that jewelry. But be honest with yourself, because some people might take three months, some people might take four months, some people could take six months, all right? Everybody is so different and there's so many different variables that's gonna um, make it vary from person to person, okay? So I always say be honest with yourself, only change it if you've gone a good solid two weeks without feeling any sort of irritation and it visibly looks healed, okay? Now, with that being said, when you take that jewelry out, you immediately want to put something else back in there, okay? Because it can close up on you still. Even if it looks healed and feels healed, it can still close up on you, all right? Now, if you have any concerns or questions or, or doubts on whether or not it's healed, go seek out a professional piercer in your area. They're always gonna be more than happy to help you, okay? Um, and they can even help assist you change that jewelry for the first time. Rooks are kind of tricky to change on your own, and I always recommend going and seeking out professional help for that. Um, just kind of helps you avoid any hiccups or problems that you might come across. Um, hopefully that helps you guys out. I really appreciate you guys following along and watching all these videos, and um, we'll see you guys next time.